video will show how to create a family size ice cream pack. In this bundle, we want to offer a customer the option to choose from six different ice cream flavors um, and have four flavors in the pack that they get. We have these ice cream products offered individually. You can see them in our bundle child products collection. And as you can see, there's six of them. Each of them have their own unique quantity. Um, the products themselves do not have any variants. And our goal is, as we mentioned, to sell them as a pack of four flavors, allowing the customer to select the flavors that they want. As you can see, there's four flavors and in each one of them, there's the six options. So a customer can choose different flavors or they can choose the same flavor more than once. And the goal with this bundle is to have the inventory of each of these products reduced based on which pack um, is purchased. So if they purchase two vanillas, maple, walnut, and a mascarpone, then vanilla and almond product will have two reduced from their inventory, maple and walnut will have one, and mascarpone will also have one. We'll start by looking at the new bundle product. We created a new product to act as the bundle parent. And we enter a description and we enter a price. We can offer it at a discount if we want. And we've added the variants. So here we created four different variant groups, one for each flavor or product, if you will. And each one of them, we added all six available options. Vanilla almond, et cetera, et cetera. Now, because the total number of options here is calculated by the number here times the number here times the number here times the number here reaches more than a thousand, we cannot turn on manage pricing and inventory for variants. This is a Wix restriction. So we cannot offer them specific price for each variant. It's not something we need in this case, but if in your example, you do want to have different prices, you'll only be able to have it if there's less than a thousand potential combinations here. So now we have the new product that will act as the parent product. We also have the individual products, um, orange and chocolate, each one of them, they have their own price and their own inventory. Inventory must be tracked for the individual products. Otherwise, we won't be able to reduce their inventory accordingly. So this is the case for all six individual products we can see in our shop. And as I mentioned, they each have their own inventory. Now we want to open up the bundles and connected inventory app. We want to make sure that we're on the bundles tab. And we're going to start by entering the name of the parent product. In our case, the family size pick four flavors. For variant mapping method, we want to keep it as separate. What this does is allow us to connect each one of the options for each one of the groups to a different product. So as you will see, we will have the four different flavors, one, two, three, four. And in each one of them, we have each one of the actual individual flavors. And we will want to connect each of these to the product. So we're going to start by vanilla and almond, and then maple, walnut, mascarpone,
mint and chocolate, orange and chocolate, and panna cotta. Now that we've done it for the first flavor, we need to do it for the rest of the flavors as well. To speed things up, we can copy and paste the names, but we must select the item from the list when it's prompted. Oops. We want to make sure that the quantity stays as one, because what this means is whenever vanilla and almond is chosen, only one will be removed from the vanilla and almond product. Um, we want to review everything. We filled all the flavors and all of them are matching. And once we verify that, we're going to click on create bundle. And we'll see the new bundle added to our list of bundles. We can edit it to confirm and see. And now whenever we purchase this product and select the flavors, they're matching individual products will have their inventory reduced. And that's how we create a bundle with separated variants. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to email us. We're here to help.